Hi guys, welcome back to Small Bits of Happiness YouTube. This video is not by a medical professional. It is not an attempt to address depression or any other mental illness. We are simply sharing our thoughts and tips on how to ease the self-pity that most people experience. Self-pity is very powerful. It has the ability to consume us and change the way we act and think. It separates us from reality and makes us only think about how we are the victims. Instead of focusing on how you want to be the hero of your life and do the best you can to be the best possible version of yourself, you just want to curl up in a ball and feel sorry for yourself. It also causes a lot of negative side effects. Because you're constantly thinking about how you are the victim, you miss out on the good things that happen. Being buried with self-pity can also affect relationships. Because people don't like spending time with people who constantly are dwelling on bad things that happen to them. And are always complaining. Self-pity takes a lot of mental strength, which can be directed into doing positive things, such as achieving goals, setting goals, etc. We all experience self-pity at some point or another in life, and that's okay. But we need to learn how to get over and pass these negative feelings, not dwell on them, find happiness, and move on with our lives. I know that this might sound silly or almost impossible, but we're gonna share with you several helpful tips that have worked for us and that we've gathered from reliable sources, such as 13 things that mentally strong people don't do, psychcentral.com, medium.com, and more, which will be linked below in case you wanna check it out, buy the book, read through the article, etc. So we are gonna share these tips with you, and hopefully by the end of the workshop, you'll have a little bit of a better understanding of what self-pity is and how we can get past these feelings. Let's break down this vicious cycle. You focus only on the negative in life. For instance, you're taking a beautiful hike and you see a rattlesnake. When reflecting on the hike, all you do is think about how terrible it was because of the snake encounter. You do this constantly, only focusing on the negative in life. So how can we get out of this cycle? Well, the only way to get out of thinking negatively is to do the opposite. Look for the positive in life. Using the snake encounter, for example, don't focus on the snake encounter, even though it was scary. I know, I literally hate snakes. But instead, focus on all the beautiful scenery you got to see, maybe the time you got to spend with a family member or a friend. And if you were alone, maybe you had some peaceful time to reflect. And another major positive we could get from this experience is that even though we saw this snake, which was not fun at all, we still didn't get bitten by the snake or attacked by anything, hopefully. And that's um, a very big positive that we should be thankful for. You can also try being kind. Even performing small acts of kindness can count, like holding the door for someone. According to science, performing acts of kindness boosts serotonin, which is the chemical in our brain that is responsible for happiness, satisfaction, and well-being. Be active. Try doing some sports, go for a walk or a run, or do an ab workout. Moving your body makes you feel better and boosts endorphins, which makes you feel good. Stay tuned for next week's Stopping the Self-Pity Cycle episode, which will focus on getting out of that victim mentality. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell. Make sure to follow our TikTok and Instagram accounts, which are linked in the description box, where you can find motivational quotes, funny videos, and tips on how you can find small bits of happiness in your everyday life. Make sure to go check out our website and sign up for our newsletter. Both of those are also linked below. Bye! Bye.